Hi, I'm Mike from Our Life Free, and today you join me in Tring Reservoirs on the Grand Union Canal, I think it is, and I'm going to talk about my weight loss journey. Just at the start of lockdown, one of my neighbours had their house broken into while they were in hospital with COVID. Isn't that terrible? And I've got CCDV, so I was looking back on it to see if I could see anything. We don't cover that part of the street, so it was unlikely I was going to see anything. But then I saw myself leaving the house, and I was huge. It was like a boat setting sail. It wasn't like a human going for a walk and it was quite embarrassing. So I thought, that's it, I've got to lose some weight. During lockdown, I had lost six and a half stone using an 800 calorie a day, very low calorie diet uh, called Exanti, but there'll be another video about that, reviewing the diet and, and how that works. But this video is about me and how I want to lose weight, it's a change I want to make in my life and the journey I've taken. I've always had quite an intense relationship with food from an early age. My mum was an amazing cook, I think she was a cook with the army or something and I seem to remember that's maybe how my mum and dad met. But she was a really, really good cook, very adventurous, very ahead of her time, really. A lot of the ingredients she used were interesting for UK in the 70s. Um, she was a very loving woman, but I think she saw f catering food as a way of looking after her children. Not showing affection, she could do that easily, but taking care of us. And we would always have lots of meals, even when there wasn't much money in the house and my mum would go without to give to us. Um, I remember coming back from university with a friend of mine and my mum had put on a small buffet and there was so much food and it was so, so good. I used to work in... Betty's Cafe in York and if you've ever been to York you'll know the queues for that place can be two hours queuing before you get it table and it's it's ridiculously good but they uh I used to work there in the kitchens. I've always been a reasonably good cook myself my mum made sure that we could all cook um and very successfully and I have got I don't really follow her recipes I just cook. I can imagine the tastes in my head and combine them and yeah I, I like cooking I really enjoy it especially baking but I don't get much of a chance to do that these days. Uh, we don't really eat sweet desserts or anything like that. I've been vegetarian for <laughs> years now since I was 15 or 16 something to do with the rat dissection at school and I couldn't stomach meat after that. I used to eat quite a lot of meat before that but I suppose my biggest vice is cheese. Love cheese. Cheese and biscuits. Blue cheese. Oh. I really want to lose weight because ultimately I want to be free out. I want to be more active. There's plenty of things I want to do and I need the energy and the life left to be able to do it. The more weight I would put on, the less I could actually do. It's very easy to tell a fat person that they should eat less and do more exercise. Exercise is a struggle and eating less, you end up comfort eating because you're already a victim of uh, calories. Yeah, I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to be more active, I want to be more involved in life, take some opportunities to walk more places, 
cycle without looking like a fat person sweating on a bike. Social situations are really quite hard because you sit there thinking they're just watching a fat person eating. And so, yeah, it makes it really quite quite tough being in restaurants and things like that because you're in your head or my head, I'm thinking, what are they seeing? Are they seeing a person having a good time or are they seeing a fat person putting on weight? Makes it very, very difficult. Can't really enjoy it. So the two things that I decided to do to make the change were go on a very strict diet because I know if I can cheat, I will cheat. I'm prone to all or nothing thinking and I'm aware of that. But I also wanted to reset my relationship with food. And the way I achieved that is going on a very low calorie diet. I like fast results, I don't mind admitting it. And I like the discipline of having the four packs a day, 800 calories, that's it, no cheating. Don't need food in the house, don't need that temptation. James isn't around, so I haven't got to have food in for him. And so there is very little access to anything else, which is great. I'll be doing a vlog about the Exante diet itself. But it is so simple and filling. And the choice is amazing as well. There are certain flavours and combinations that I will carry on having even when the diet is over. I felt that I wanted to increase that loss slightly by doing a bit more exercise and also I've just felt a bit more motivated. So I got the Fitbit, which is great because it gives you feedback. It gives you smaller targets that you can achieve every day. It's not expecting you to run a marathon or do the couch to 5K or anything like that. I find on nice days I do a lot more walking, gardening, uh, just be more active and more involved. I'm quite lucky because losing all the, the jobs, or at least pausing all the jobs, means that I have got more time on my hands, more time to get involved, more time to think. Uh, I've got my bike fixed. He's in the government scheme, got the £50 off voucher. Uh, so... Now we've got the new vehicles, I'm going to be out, taking the bike out, doing a bit more exercise in that way, and I hopefully keep the weight coming off. Quite looking forward to going back to work so that they can, because none of them have seen me during lockdown, and going from where I was, which was huge, to even where I am now, which is half the man I used to be, uh, it'll be great to see their faces, and I'll just be able to do more. Yeah, it's great having a relief from food for me because it gives your mind a bit of a reset your habits i've gone well over 120 days now with not eating proper meals so my relationship with food is definitely changing i see all of the advertisements all of the the num sheer number of shops that are dedicated to food restaurants grocers the, we're just constantly bombarded with messages about food and although that's great healthy competition and all that I'm sure but for a person who has a problem relationship with food all of that constant messaging combined with the message that we should be thin and hardly eat and exercise all the time it causes a dissonance in your brain and, and makes you reach for the food just as comfort. I am quite scared about coming off the diet, if I'm honest. It's not for a little while yet, but the, my costs are suddenly going to go up. It is just me I'm catering for, and at the moment I'm only spending £4 a day on food. That'll treble, quadruple and that's hard how am i going to close that gap on the little bit that my uh, benefits give me so that's quite worrying
but I can't die it forever. So this isn't the end of the journey. There will be another vlog when I actually get to my goal weight, which I am going to do. And if you would like to like, subscribe, comment on your weight loss journey if you've got one, and yeah, give me loads of support. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you.